Wow, what a game. What a game by the Rangers. They actually won it. <laughs> this is how you have to play every single game, except for the first period. Do not play that way ever again. I never want to see that again. But what a game for the Rangers. And unfortunately, some bad stuff happened, though, of course, because we can't have nice things ever, right? <laughs> But what a game by the Rangers. They After the first period, they came to play. They came to play, except Igor in the first period. He was really solid. But other than that, I mean, the, they just... Um, Igor played well the entire time until he got hurt, of course, because he did. And that's a bad thing that I was referring to that, of course, had to happen. Unfortunately, Igor ended up getting hurt really badly really badly and honestly um i'm worried that he's going to miss a lot of time because of the way the injury looked i'm kind of scared that he's gonna miss a long period of time and he couldn't even skate on his right leg at all so hopefully we gotta pray and hope for the best for him and hopefully it's nothing too severe and if georgiev has to hold down the fort hopefully it won't be for too long until Igor is back, and hopefully we don't have to see Keith Kincaid go in net. If so, then hopefully we could still pull off wins with him in net. The first period, though, honestly, now we're going to talk about the game because I don't know really how to uh, segue any other way. But uh, when it came to the game, the first period really put a dent on how bad we were. Like We were terrible the first period. Overall, we did not get enough shots on goal, in my opinion somehow still got six goals when we had 19 shots on goal the entire game i don't understand how that works but i love it i absolutely love it if we could just score and capitalize on the opportunities when we get them and we definitely played a lot better in the last two periods Kreider, the captain our captain Opens up the scoring in the second period on a power play goal, which, by the way, Mika Zibanejad got benched for half the second period, which I thought was a good thing, honestly. And I know people on Twitter were going insane and hated it, but I personally thought that he had to get benched. That he had, it's been long overdue for him to get benched for a game. And he's got to start getting the message that, hey, you're not playing well enough to be getting this much ice time we're gonna bench you and i thought that 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 was a good thing and that quinn should be doing that more with the bandage ad because he has been awful by the way people wanted him to be captain over Kreider because Kreider was inconsistent where are the Kreider haters at now because not only that but he scored a little later his second goal of the game and the rangers go up two to one and they made it look like they could have choked it for a while they I wasn't comfortable with how they were playing. Third period, though, 23 seconds in. Kreider gets the hat trick. Our captain gets the hat trick. I don't care if he does. Uh, I don't care that he does have the C on the jersey. He is the captain. He's going to be the captain at some point. He should be the captain. And um, beautiful goal on that. Uh, the first and the thir uh, third goal were beautiful. The second one was a deflection, which, by the way, Ryan Lindgren got a had a really good shot on that second goal. And he is super underrated. It's unfair how underrated Ryan Lindgren is. He truly does not get enough credit because he does play with Adam Fox. Otherwise, he probably would get more credit. And then Keandre Miller also gets a lot of credit. But Ryan Lindgren definitely deserves a lot more credit than he's getting. A little bit later, we got Pavel Buchnevich, who scores from Alexi Lafreniere with a beautiful, beautiful pass to him. And then he buries that one on a two-on-one that somehow Booch created and a great defensive play there by Lafreniere to get it. And then it's all of a sudden four to one. And then the Igor injury happened. And that is really scary, that injury. And I'm really terrified about him missing some time, a lot of time actually, because of that injury. And like I said, we just got to hope that uh everything is okay with him then brendan smith scored a little bit after and it was kind of like a 
it, a bittersweet goal. That's the word everyone's using. I was trying to think of a different word to use because everyone's been using that. Everyone used it on Twitter, but that's just really what it was. A bittersweet goal by Brendan Smith. Beautiful uh, play there by Phil DiGiuseppe to find Smith. Smith buries that one. And then Alexi Lafreniere gets another point. Um, first multi-point game. He is heating up four-game point streak, and he got two points tonight and a beautiful goal. Beautiful goal. And um, this is just... What uh this is just what we uh love to see. That's what we love to see. And when you look at the stats though, the Rangers could have been better. 19 shots on goal. Come on. We gotta get better. I know the first period we didn't play that well and didn't forecheck that much, but we, and we started to in the last few periods, but come on, he still gotta get more shots. Face off wise, we were awful. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible on the face offs. Rooney has sucked lately on the faceoffs. Advantage had sucked on the faceoffs. Gotta step that up. Penalty minutes, way too many. Although the Lieber Hayek one, I'm not gonna be mad about because that did save a goal. So I can't be mad about that. 13 blocks, which one on one of the power uh the power plays New Jersey had, they blocked like five or six shots. That was insane, and I love that. Uh but now we're going to go into questions on Twitter. And we got from New York Style 24 again. Shout out to him. Been a very loyal viewer lately. What do you think the Igor injury was? It's got to be. People think a hip or a groin injury. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not going to say what I exactly it probably is. It's definitely it's obviously lower body. But uh, I. I don't really know. I don't really know exactly what it is. My friend thinks it's a he tore his groin, which would mean probably he would be out for the rest of the season, which would be awful. We got to hope that the injury is just not severe because if he misses a lot of time and the loads all on Georgiev, I'm sorry, I don't feel confident enough in Georgiev carrying the load in this part of the schedule. This is the biggest part of the schedule like i said and uh philly ended up winning by the way that was insane how they won so we now are getting closer we're at 21 points we're finally 500 took long enough but if Georgiev has to carry the load i'm gonna be a little skeptical about this this is why we really just need the hope that uh especially with a back-to-back -back coming up this weekend that means we would be forced to play Keith Kincaid uh, if he's not back. And if it's a major injury, if he's done for the season, obviously we're going to have to see Kincaid at some point. But we need this injury to not be severe and to be not as bad to the point where Igor could play on the back-to-back. -back because if, if we don't have Igor for the back-to-back... -back, that's going to be a problem. And if he's going to miss an extended period of time, I would say tomorrow, not tomorrow, on Saturday, you rock Kincaid against this New Jersey team again, who couldn't really get much going offensively, even though, I mean, they were getting shots and everything, but, you know, we still at the same time played pretty well defensively. Uh, I would play probably Kincaid then on... Um, or yeah, this weekend is the back-to-back. -back. What am I saying? So of course he's gonna miss the back-to-back. -back. I I would play if you can your give on the back-to-back because -back, I for some reason was thinking there was a game and then it was the back-to-back. -back. For some reason I was thinking that for a minute. I'm stupid. I don't know why I thought that, but I was gonna say then you play Kincaid and then Georgiev on the back-to-back. -back, but since you uh, you gotta try to get your given on this back to back i'd imagine he plays on saturday and then if we don't know the injury still if we don't know the injury still i'd imagine your would play on saturday and then you play kincaid on uh sunday but i don't know if i want kincaid against pittsburgh that's the thing it's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough decision. 
Glad I'm not the coach, and we just got to hope and pray that Igor's injury is not severe. But overall, still a great win. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Other than that, it's been Python. I'm out. Peace.